Hey, I'm Dookie03, and I'm a huge Dragon Quest fan. I've been playing this series since Dragon Warrior 1 came out on the original NES, and despite how things have been in the past, and despite some things I have said in the past, us Dragon Quest fans have been eating good. If you enjoy Dragon Quest and JRPG content, please help the channel out by dropping a like, subscribing, and turning notifications to all so you won't miss the latest videos. So let's get into why my stance on the franchise has changed so much as of late. If you've seen my video talking about the biggest change Dragon Quest needs to make, you'd know that the series hasn't always been in the best place here in the West. It never seemed to get marketed properly, and we even missed out on a ton of games that were available to fans in Japan. Well today, I'm here to help you toss all those complaints and negative feelings away. Because lately, the Dragon Quest franchise has been on fire. And like, the good NBA Jam kind of on fire, not the uh, dumpster fire type. With Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D just around the corner, and Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD 2D coming out next year, we've got some great things to look forward to. But this video isn't even really about that. I always see fellow fans commenting on Dragon Quest official social media pages, begging for games to come out on specific platforms, or asking for a sequel to be made of their favorite spin-offs. This is all fine and dandy, but let's take a step back for once and see what this incredible franchise that we've all grown to love truly has to offer. For a niche JRPG series with a small but passionate fan base outside of Japan, we have access to 11 mainline entries, with a 12th to come in the future. That's way more than other great series like the Lunar, Skies of Arcadia, Wild Arms, and even the Xeno series have at their disposal. If we've just finished a Dragon Quest game, or you've finished your first ever Dragon Quest game, you have a lot more to enjoy and look forward to. These games aren't just short jaunts in the park, either. I've played through every mainline game at least twice. Yes, even Dragon Quest X's original version. There's no way I can remember every last detail about each entry from only two measly playthroughs. So that's 11 incredible games that I love that I can continue to come back to and experience their fantastic stories, wondrous worlds, and charismatic characters as many times as I like. Again, this is a lot more than most fan bases get to enjoy from their respective franchises. Not only do we have these 11 solid entries, but we have a plethora of different versions and remakes of each entry at our disposal. If you've beaten every game in the series like myself, but still want some more, you can go play the Super Famicom or Game Boy Color remakes of Dragon Quest 1 to 3. There's a PS1, DS, and mobile version of Dragon Quest 4, my second favorite game in the series. And they all have their own little differences and features. Dragon Quest 5 was remade for the PS2, then later on for the Nintendo DS, and so on and so forth. With remakes and re-releases of just the mainline series, we have at least 28 different ways to play this series we all love so much. How can we possibly feel bad about ourselves at this point? We sometimes feel and act like as Dragon Quest fans, we're often forgotten about. But let's look away from the main series for a moment just to appreciate all the different spin-offs and sequels to these games that we can also cherish and enjoy. We've got spin-off series now that have essentially become their own standalone series that have their own fans, some of which have never played and may not even care to play a mainline Dragon Quest game. We've truly got a Dragon Quest game for everyone. If you enjoy monster taming games like Pokemon, Digimon, or Monster Rancher, we have you covered with the Dragon Quest Monsters series. What about for those folks who aren't into JRPGs at all? The people who just love to build and create, and go on an adventure to explore and discover the best materials so they can craft whatever their hearts desire. We got the Dragon Quest Builders series for that. Heck, Dragon Quest Builders 2, even before you take into account its great story and gameplay, is a better building and crafting game than even Minecraft. If you like dungeon crawlers, or even if you hate them but can't get enough of our favorite merchant Tornico Taloon from Dragon Quest IV, we have the Mystery Dungeon series. Want something with more action, where you can take on armies of monsters and command an army of your own? Well then the Dragon Quest Hero series is waiting for you. I guess what I'm trying to get at here is that in a world of just constantly wanting and consuming, then moving on to the next new flashy thing, we need to look back and cherish what we already have, because as Dragon Quest fans, we have a lot to love. We have the greatest games, the greatest spin-offs, and dare I say, the greatest fan base. So be kind, be patient, and enjoy all that we already have at our fingertips. Let's appreciate this massive and glorious franchise for all it's worth, and take in what it truly means to be Dragon Questers, Dragon Warriors, and heroes of these amazing worlds created for us by the legend himself, Yuji Horii. Thank you, Yuji Horii, for creating something so special that's brought so many fantastic people from around the world together, and thank you, for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments what some of your favorite moments with the franchise have been so far, and what you're looking forward to experiencing that you haven't gotten a chance to yet.
And if you want to help out, remember to like, subscribe, and turn notifications to all. You can also join me live at least three nights per week here on YouTube or over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash dookie03. And if you want to hang out with all of us on the Discord, please click the link down in the description, and I'd be glad to hang out with you there as well. Look forward to seeing you in the next video, and take care, everyone.